everyone and welcome to another TDR family gaming video. This is Droid TDR and we're going into an ancient hunt with one of our fans. That's right, you know them as Semity over on Roblox, but we are setting up an ancient hunt. You can see we've already got a battle staff that we're sacrificing. We've already got a void collar. We've got a lightning staff and I'm trying to figure out what armor am I going to ditch in order to go into the ancient hunt. And I guess it's the cave crawler. And look at that, it looks like we've got two ancients that are going to show up, and let's see how this slider works on enchantment points. I'm not thrilled about giving them up, but yeah, I'll give up one, and 73% chance of some ancients, a 1.2 something something uh, something. I still don't quite know what those mean, but now we got to pick the difficulty, and uh, Semity, I believe, is level power level 60, and I'm power level 153, so we're a little bit different. So we kind of met in the middle and decided on a power level 80, which would be really challenging, I think, for Semity. And here we go. The first ancient hunt with a fan going on in, sacrificing some stuff, sacrificing an enchantment point, and let's see what happens. This actually was such a cool run. Be sure to check it out. I never thought we would see what we saw in this, and I was just thrilled. These ancient hunts are awesome. So, again, why why the heck do we have like ice illagers in in the Nether? It doesn't make sense to me. But every now and then you get these groups of mobs that come from other uh, other different areas of the Minecraft Dungeons world and they show up in Nether in these ancient hunts and it's kind of wacky but kind of fun still nonetheless. So there we go. And you can see so far I'm, I'm kind of crushing stuff when I'm up in front or when I'm jumping around because I've got the burst bowstring. But Semity is really holding his own, doing the damage found one of our first little entrances here and this is usually like a treasure room or it could be a boss room and what within like three minutes of our ancient hunt we've we found a boss arena are you kidding me holy smokes okay so we just had to type back and forth real quick on discord like oh my gosh can you believe it we already found one and so here we go press the button and a guy should show up very quick like and there he is it is the grim guardian is here to try and take us on he is smashing semity down holy smokes there are a lot of guys these these ancient mobs do travel with a pack of minions don't forget that it's not gonna be just kill the mob and you're done you've got minions to deal with Whew. and we did what did we get here it was the Grim Guardian, and we got some Grim Armor. Not too bad. Still only two enchantment slots. Not super thrilled about it, but yay, we got our first one. So let's move on and see. Wow, uh, already just from in the first couple of minutes, well, this is very different than the run that Rylan Reed and I did, where we found one ancient at the very end of the run, and here we are. We found one ancient mob at the very beginning of the run. And it's very, very different run, different location, different setting, different mob. I've got to sort out the code that brings different agents in to these hunts so I can sort of start getting a sense of what items I want to try and get so I know which items I need to sacrifice so that I can then draw out the mob that might drop those. Holy smokes, this is a puzzle. I'm sure people are figuring it out. Maybe I'll have to figure it out myself. But uh, let's see what the internet provides in the next couple of days as we're all sorting through this together. And here we are, we're just kind of plowing through everybody that we're running into. Semini's doing a bang up job. Oh wait, wow, we found another. I bet it's a, it's not a treasure room, it's another one? Are you kidding me? Holy smokes. All right, well, let's go get yet another Grim Guardian. This appears to be the battle zone for the Grim Guardian. So let's see what happens. Oh my gosh, I already blew him up. <laughs> that satchel of elements is a doozy. And what do we get this time? We got a rare sword. All right, not super thrilled about a rare sword. But you know what? 
We take these, we take the wins. If it turned out to be something amazing, then I'm assuming you can upgrade Gilded Gear the same way that you can upgrade normal gear with the blacksmith. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that's what I was counting on. So pretty okay doing uh, lower power level runs here uh, in order to have a companion to help me out with this. All right, here we go. Cross the bridge and we've finished the first mission area. We're on through the portal to the next mission area and I believe it said there were three mission areas. So here we are on to mission area two. And we've already got two gilded gears. This is nuts. I love it. I wonder though, let's see if I, I sacrificed several things that were in the, you know, high numbers in the hundreds, some of them. Uh, I wonder if the gear that you pick up will reflect some combination of, hey, if I, I got rid of power levels that totaled the 200, will the gear that we pick up total close to 200 or will it start at around 200? I don't know, but this is a lower level. We're in the 86 power range, so it makes sense that the gear we're picking up is 86, but maybe that's why we're picking up three or four things, um, or at least two so far. Maybe that's why, is because it's trying to make the same overall power level up for the power levels that we um, sacrificed. I don't know, I'm making stuff up as I go along. You can see the battle is somewhat chaotic, but you know what? Semini's a master at so many different games. It's like, it's it still amazes me that he's able to play competently 20 power levels above his own. It's just awesome. Actually, I think 26 power levels. It's level 60 and here he is holding his own. And we are on an 86 power level ancient run. All right, couldn't find anything in those nooks and crannies. Let's, uh, looks like we gotta jump over here or more to the point. Droid doesn't, can't do parkour, doesn't like it and jumped from the wrong area. Anyways, there we go. Made it on attempt number two. And nothing there either. All right, well, we are in mission area two. Maybe there won't be anything here. Yep, nothing there. Looked like a good opportunity for an ancient but nothing in the doorway. All right, all right, let's see if we can figure our way out to the next area. So the architecture in some of these places is just amazing. Like, even if you don't have the Nether DLC, like these ancient hunts, uh, the, I don't know, the whole vibe is very cool. All of this procedurally generated uh, structures. Uh, I love it, I just absolutely love it. All right, looks like we're making our way through uh, close to where we started this area. But is there anything at the end of the line here? No, okay. So we started, you can see the door on the mini-map. Oh, looks like somebody found another door. Let's go over there, see what it is. All right, is this another boss? No, it's a treasure room. Good, we need the gold. Let's go pick up some gold. Bam. Looks like somebody might be using maybe the gilded sword that he picked up, I don't know. Um, but it's got some chains on it. Looks like maybe lightning, or maybe that was me with my satchel of elements. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, love the gold. Let's just pick it up and run. I love how the the bottom area in the void is kind of a goldy yellow. It's like you're walking over a void of gold way, way, way below. So cool. All right, here we are. What? Another? What the? Another treasure room right next to it? We'll take those. That's crazy. So in the first area, we had two ancients, ancient mob areas, and we got to get two gilded gear there. And then right here in the mission number two, we have two treasure rooms. This one looks like a pretty big one. Uh, two treasure rooms like right next to each other, sort of smack dab in the middle of the level. All right, well, let's get going on through to the next area. And where have we not been? Looking on the mini-map, running through fire. Not recommended, by the way. Uh, in real life or in Minecraft Dungeons. Actually, in most video games, I'd say not recommended at all. All right, there we go. Now we're in a new area. 
I hear the laughter. I hear the summoning. All right, somebody's checked that corner out. Looks like we gotta go the way we gotta go now. By the way, so the reason why we're exploring everything, and the reason why on our previous, uh, when Reed Ryland and I did our first run, explore everything is because that's where the treasure is, and that's where the ancient hunts are. Is that if you just run and try to follow straight to the exit, you will miss them, and you don't want to miss them. That's the whole point of doing these things, to get gold and to also get some of the cool gilded loot from an ancient hunt. All right. Apparently there was nothing up on that bridge, and now here we are, battling guys, and all sorts of snakes, and illagers, and oh my gosh, he's just so much. Look at that, that snowball effect from uh, Semini's armor is super helpful. I think that's part of what's helping a lot, is that when there's multiple guys, the snowball stuns them, and it gives you a chance to actually do a little bit of fighting with the guy that is in front of you and attacking. Good stuff, and the chaining helps a lot when you're playing above level because it slows everyone down and freezes them while you get to uh, do some damage on the guy that you can reach. All right, let's see, we're finally moving on into a new area, and the polar bear randomly in the nether. Whatever, he did not attack us like he did when Reed Ryland and I were in here on our first run. It's a pretty cool little structure. Looks like we're about to defeat it. Uh-oh. Might have enraged a polar bear. Oh, but he's he's blown up now. Okay. Pretty cool. Anything in this structure? I don't think so. It's a little tricky because there's multiple levels to it. Um, let's see, which way do we should we go? I think we go the way that is not the exit first. Which would be on this way. It looks like just a platform. Maybe there's nothing here. Let's go check it out. Got a couple of enchanted mobs. Nothing like Apocalypse Quas enchanted mobs, but we got some. Not too bad though. Handling it pretty well. Somebody is taking them out in droves. That's awesome. Oh, there we go. Another dude, another summoner, and another. Oh, sorry, polar bear. What are you doing in the nether anyways? That's nuts. Oh, there's another one. Good. It's his brother. He's okay. We'll leave him be. Alright, well, nothing in that area. I guess it's time to follow the path. <laughs> I just, just burned those up from afar. Alright, here we go. Following the path on to maybe section number three. Or maybe there's another doorway that we can find. Any that way? Nope. Somebody says nope. Let's go see. All right, we're going into what? Enter the mansion. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice in the upper right hand corner. The next area is the Woodland Mansion. What the heck? Oh, I'm so excited about that. All right, well, that's cool. I can't wait. Oh my gosh, all right, but let's clear this out. See if there's any last little treasure rooms or anything over here. See where Semity is. Doing okay up there? Yep, doing okay. Using the stun. Managing to run up and down. Oh, wow, that is a narrow staircase. Okay, maybe I can help. Maybe I can run up there and help out. There we go. Let's go on up. Bam. All right. Hey, we got some gold. Nice. Hey, let's run to the very top. See if there's something up here. Oh, a couple little uh, urns of emeralds. Not too bad. This is cool, little area up here. I'm liking it, I'm digging it. Sadly, not much loot. So we'll fall and lose most of our health. Okay, baby zombie, goodbye. And there's nothing up here. So last little jaunt off to the side. Anything good over this way or is it off to the Woodland Mansion? We go, yes sirree. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. How on earth? I wonder if they've got other things. Uh, Woodland Mansion. I wonder if there's going to be like, I don't know, the, the Illager Raid outpost areas. Oh my gosh, this opens so many possibilities. Let's go in, let's go in. All right, we are in Woodland Mansion and there's a skull which just needed to be clicked on. It needed it. And there's a button. Come on, somebody, push the button. I dare you. Let's see what happens. Oh my gosh! Wave defense. <laughs> Nothing. 
Oh my gosh, easy. Okay. Lame wave defense, but we get a little chest for it. Hooray! All right, set of doors. Good, good. I wonder if... Is that the exit door? I hope not. Probably not. Let's see, what do we got here? We got a gate we can't get past. Um... Yeah. Now what? So we've got some doors that might kick us out. We see that this map is huge. Well, honestly, so we ran around and around and around trying to figure out where and how do we open that little gate and eventually we just realized, all right, let's just go through the door and see if that's the ticket. And in fact, it is the ticket. So that gets you further into the Woodland Mansion. And I lost my map. You can see we need a key to go up the staircase, so we're looking for a key. And, oh my gosh, what was that, a flaming arrow that just shot across? Yes, flaming arrow. You will notice in the carpet, there are pressure plates under the carpet. And if you walk on them, flaming arrows shoot across the hallway. Now what are all these hoglins doing in here? And what are all these, oh my gosh, there's frozen guys. It's just, this is insane. What are y'all doing in the Woodland Mansion? Holy smokes. This is Ice Illager House, not Woodland Mansion House. But we'll take it, we'll take it. Oh my gosh, and it's people from the, the Windswept Peaks now. And now, now this is looking more like, a little bit more like, well, now it's not. Now it's snowy zombies again. Holy smokes. Woodland Mansion. I love the architecture. And right there, you saw the fire arrows. Bam. I know that I'm triggering them. I think Semity knows that I know, but Semity is pretty good at avoiding them, and I just run over them. Because I don't care. Let's light this place up. Maybe a wall will catch on fire. We'll burn the place down. Raise the roof. All right, here we go. Destroying everything in our path. I don't think the flaming arrows hurt the other... Why is there a blaze in here? As I was saying, I don't think the flaming arrows hurt the other mobs, but I'm not sure. I never really actually tested that. Maybe we can see in this replay if, in fact, they do get hurt from the arrows. But we're making our way around. You can see on the minimap is back up. We made our way around. There are lots and lots of doors that we cannot open. Those purple ones. My guess is we find the key. We can open one door. Oh my gosh, and there's another little boss room or something we still can't get to. All right, there's some dynamite. Nice. Did some pretty good dynamiting there. And now we've reached the end. And what the heck? How do we get out of here? What did we miss? We must have missed something. Somebody's doing the exploration, has a speed boost on. I guess I could have sw switched to grab a speed boost. But, uh, yep, I don't have one on me right now. So, search with us as we go and look for what did we miss? How do we get to the next area? And you can see, of course, now it's obvious these little pressure plates in the carpet. Pressure prates. Yes, that's what it is. A pressure prate. Anyways, you can see now on the minimap there's a yellow dot. And that is what we didn't get to. Maybe it is now suddenly open or maybe we just missed it the first time around. And there's the key! So, somebody pressed the button. I grabbed the key. Satchel of elements. Bam! Let's go get this dude, okay? And do we get a chest for clearing that out? Yes, we do. All right, now moving along. Look at that. Pushing the button, I think, opened a bunch of gates. Oh, wait, what are these redstone things? Somebody's going around picking up the redstone things. That's cool. I didn't even notice that early on the first couple of rooms that we went. But that seems to be a thing to do here. There's little redstone bits on top of... These, um, I don't know what you'd call them, little tables, I suppose. Little altars. And uh, spawns a mini wave defense, which then also triggers a chest. Pretty cool. All right. So let's go, let's go just keep going in each of these little side rooms and keep triggering the wave defenses, picking up some loot and see what happens. 
maybe that is how we find our way out of the Wibblin Mansion. Still carrying the key. So still, oh, got some gold there, nice. Still carrying the key though. Need to figure out how to get out. And by the way, you may have noticed I lost my heads up display. I don't know what my health is. I don't know any of my stats. And I didn't notice that it was gone. And I'm like, somewhere along here I realized, wait a minute. I don't know what my stats are. What's going on? Am I about to die? What's happening? And so, and then it randomly came back sometime later. Okay. So here we are. We got that door open, but there's all these little sub doors. What should we do? And there's a chest that we missed way in the corner. Oh my gosh, let's go get it. And maybe there's some other purple doors that have opened in the meantime. It's just like this is a zigzaggy maze back and forth. If you are going to try and find everything, and since we don't know if, when, or where, we might find another entrance to either the treasure room or to a uh, ancient boss battle. We're, we're checking it all out, man. No secret left behind. Wait, what was that? I saw a little glowy thing here, but I can't get in there. Okay. Uh-oh. Sounds like somebody spawned something worth being at. I better get in here. What is this? Oh no, can I get in there? I don't know if I can, but I'll help with the satchel of elements from afar. Oh, how cool is that? They're flaming arrows. It's like a trap room. Oh, that's awesome. Bam. Good job, Semini. Good job, Snowball. The stunning Snowball. One of my favorite enchantments on armor. And there we go. We cleaned out that little trap room. That's cool. Look at that shape on the Woodland Mansion and look for that one. Fun stuff. Now, what did we miss over here? Anything? I think we've uncovered everything. But there was another redstone pedestal. All right. That could be it. Maybe. Nope, there's another one. All right, what happens? Two, three guys. Okay, goodbye, guys. I <laughs> got a little more gold, a little bit more. This is a good way to get gold. Woodland Mansion with all of these little things, if you go for all of them, you can pick up some major gold and emeralds as you go through. There we go, there's one. Nothing in the other rooms. A little bit of gold and emeralds. There's another one. Do we get a little, yep, okay, let's defeat that. Do we get another one? Yes, we do. Look at that, just some emeralds in that one. This is good stuff. Good stuff. Do we have any more? Yep. There's another couple emerald pots. Not bad. And some more fiery arrows. Oh, look, there's a boss room, I think. Or maybe it's a treasure room. I don't know, but oh, we missed this one. We gotta get this stuff. Bam. All right, boom, boom, and and TNT, we love you. There it is, got a little bit more loot. And I think that brings us back to where? Going in here. Oh my gosh, we got it again. We got three of these ancient hunts. We got three Grims to take down. Unbelievable. So we got two early on, and then we got a whole bunch of treasure rooms in the second one and then we've got a third brim oh my gosh look at that and it looks like it looks like what it dropped for me is oh it's a unique gilded oh super psyched i hope there's three enchantments but i don't think so at this power level that we did this dungeon anyways this is where i noticed holy smokes i have no heads up display what is going on and that's why there was this little break right in there in the action whoo okay made it out of that now what? Do we go over here? Yeah, oh wait, this is where we came in, right? Oh yeah, that's where we came in. Do we go back out? No, 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 no. Droid, what are you doing? You don't go back out here, that's where you came in. You go back out at the door that you thought might have been the exit on the other side. You gotta escape the Woodland Mansion. Follow somebody. Somebody knows. Remember, we unlocked that door. Let's go out that way. There you go. What the heck is this? All right, you push the button. Is this another boss battle area? 
Did we get a fourth one? I don't think so, but uh, it's an evoker. But it's not a boss evoker, it's just an evoker. Okay. But, um, oh my gosh, creepers. Creepers, uh, creepers, charge creepers. Coming from every direction, what the heck? Holy smokes. Oh man, creepers. All right, let's get somebody up. Hard to survive a charge creeper blast for sure. All right, well, let's see. On the mini map, we can see that there is a place we should go. On the far right upper top of the mini map, there's a yellow dot. That usually means you gotta go do something over here. So here we come, and there it is. There's a switch. And what does that do? Oh, it's like a lightning rod we just revealed that just got lightning. That's where all the charged creepers are spawning in from. What? Holy smokes. Okay. Okay. Oh, man. Another one. Somebody down. Somebody down. Bees, go take care of that guy while I heal him. All right. Good job. Good job, bees. Oh, good job, bees. We got him down. And now there's one more. Oh, there's the dot over there. All right, let's go get that lightning rod exposed and zap. Yep, it got zapped. Now there's creepers spawning in on the other side of the map. Looks like somebody's taking care of it though. And the final dot, it's the yellow dot. I wonder, is this it? It is victory. We escaped the woodland mansion, which has lightning rods with creepers on the top. Holy smokes, what a crazy, crazy run that was. Super psyched to have done that. Had no idea that there was a woodland mansion in there, and we get our gold for doing it. Oh my gosh, we got three gilded. We only sacrificed one enchantment point, and one of the gilded was a unique. Very excited about that. Hope you had a good time checking out our run, and how do you like the ancient hunts? Let us know in the comments below, and we will see ya in the next one.